What's up? Welcome to my 100th video. I could grab the binder that has number 100. I am finally here to talk about an interesting movie that's been around for far too long. It's been way too long since I had to talk about an interesting movie in the near future. So it's finally here at last. There's like no meaning of true madness that's going on. Hello, I'm EYJ Martinez. I'm here to go and talk about a truly insane movie that existed. And that movie is called We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. As you can tell from the credits here, we got John Goodman, of Harmon, and Levan, and Del J. Leno. So, even has the famous actor Martin Shorts in it. I remember enjoying this movie as a kid. And the bird, her child, wants. Now, like he said, go to the circus. And this is our main character, Rex, voiced by the legendary John Goodman. And he explains the backstory that he was dumb and, in the word for it, savage to other animals. And not to mention this movie came out exactly the same year as Jurassic Park, and long before when they did the Land Before Time movies. He's in the 80s. So, a big huge flying ship shows up. I have to change, change his mind. And look at this freaky alien character. Voiced by Jane Wano. Oh goody, like his normal voice wasn't very obnoxious enough already. To not make this review longer like how Doug Walker did it. And not to do like any <laughs> parodies of it. And some of the brain drain will be part of this movie's plot. Anyhow, oh. Rex is force fed and turned to his real permanent, realistic, prehistoric lizard self into a cartoon. And he ain't the only one that takes the brain drain. <clears throat> In Serio, that makes them smart. There's Lou, Lou, the big one that's big, prehistoric one. Dweeb, the doofy one, and Elsa, the smart female of the group. And very interspecies with each other. Anyhow, they meet Professor New Eyes. He's not brought them there. And to bring children joy with his device that shows bubbles. Yep, in the near future, they lots of kids really want dinosaurs. There's I'm fast forwarding this so we can get part of the story. Yep, Dr. Julia Bleed. I'm going to be.
Yeah, really. Anyhow. We also get introduced by some other characters like Lily that's also on the way to join the circus, which is part of the movie's plot. And this kid takes their parents very well. I've never seen that many sides of New York. Rex somehow falls into the water. Or trips. Because why not have our main character really save them? Him? I mean, seriously, I know they're smart and all, but come on. Also, I can't skip this commercial. Some of them are unskippable. I had to make this review like less than 15 minutes short. Also, I look pretty awesome, don't I? <laughs> Basically, the movie's just them going to the museum of natural history to get children's dreams come true. And, oh my god, it's still going. The main plot of the film is just basically plain and simple. You, it's just them to make children entertain to see real dinosaurs. That is a keep secret. Okay. Also, Doug's right about this part. Somehow these kids know how to engineer these vehicles. Well, both dolls are claws, too. Yep, thank you for ending that scene there, movie. And we get this scene of them flying, which I always find the scene awesome, and their CGI. They also meet the Cillian Nuthash. And she's just freaked out by the target dinosaur there. So, they couldn't hire a babysitter to look after this little girl. Also, hi there, voice of Lisa Simpson. Pretty random that they got these actors to play these characters in this movie. And besides, he's the one that plays Dreep is the voice of the one from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And... Just keep watching and you'll see what I mean. That's an embarrassing or ridiculous way to run away just like that from being kissed in public to run away like that. Also, I love this emotional scene right here, and it cuts to a commercial. And I kind of agree with Louie there. Her, her parents are just dreadful. They're just... There's a bunch of a-hole holes. Also, to one little girl and that were never around to look after her. So, I agree with Louie. He just... Go ahead and run away and join the circus. I do feel bad for her. Or I really, really do. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to imagine the animation in this film is really well donely good. Everything in the background looks terrific. And we also get this scene. She throws her hat. And the camera's still focusing on the hat. 
And there's the girl that we've seen in the bubble, which I skipped a hand. Looking at the hand. Looking at the hand. And... Okay. Now it's on her, and she got it. Her wish, I guess. I mean, the other dinosaurs and that scene. And we get the coolest part of this movie the parade of lots of merchandises. And they act like giant robots. And we get the coolest part of this movie. Sing the song of me. I used to dance to this beat all the time as a kid. Roll back. The Rock is a great song. And I think John Gutman had a wonderful... Uh, no time dancing to the beat. But unfortunately, they cost too much attention, and things got even terrible. And we also get to one of my most favorite parts of this movie. In the chase scene. And which is the coolest part I never get tired of watching over and over again. And I really, really like it. It just shows crazy stuff happening in this movie. The chase scenes are just insane. In this one part. Sure it lasts for like nearly two minutes. The other dinosaurs spread up and it's just... I just don't know what I'm watching. It just shows... It says... Elsa being chased by a helicopter. Triceratops. Hot dogs. A green one going down the subway. A guy looking at a paper. So I'm like, eh, you don't see that every day. And then there's like a crime happening. And, and it just... It's one of my favorite parts of this movie is just how crazy it is. Anyways, Rex thinks I'm just in time from the police. He's and they end up at the circus. The children. And we are our main villain. Sir Screw Eyes. And we suddenly end up in the Looney Tunes cartoon. By the way, that's Martin Short playing a clown. I'll name Stumps. That was heinous. And we get the most scariest part of this movie as Professor Screw Eyes is an interesting villain. Especially in this scene right here, he actually makes them sign their contract in blood. Freaking blood! What is this guy, uh, old devil in the skies? Anyhow, oh, the dinosaur show up to take the kids, but they were too late, and he has to show them his device. He's now show oh, what children are truly afraid of. Of our monsters. And he uses a bit of brain drain. And he has hypnotic powers for some reason. 
And they cut to another commercial. I'll continue the rest of this in part two. And we're back at Dinosaur Story. So I'll see you in the next video, guys.